Looking to save on utility costs for your business or home? Consider solar energy. These customers are mad. I feel stupid and it's kind of like my own stupidity. I should have did a little more research. We now have $70,000 worth of trash on our roof. So how much is Lee paying? $203.50 a month. For how long? For until I'm 60 years old, so 30 years. It's absolutely false. Everything they tell you is a lie. I don't want others to go through the same experience that I have gone through. About to see the dark side of solar sails. Solar panels are literally a scam. They say installing solar panels on your home will save you money. They promise things like big checks from the governments. The federal government's gonna pick up 26% of your gross total system costs. So that is in the form of a check. And they're like, no, you're gonna get $9,000 back. That your property values will go up. Do solar panels increase my home's value? They say you can even make money by selling extra electricity back to the grid. So overproducing often re diminishes your return on investment. When in reality, the only people benefiting from solar are the predatory door-to-door -door salesmen shilling them. And the victims? These homeowners are left in crippling debt that is going to shackle them down for the rest of their lives, while the home solar company executives are getting filthy rich. We've seen this with higher education, and now we're seeing it with green energy, with all these cities having lawsuits filed against home solar companies. Stay dangerous, and this is The Great Solar Scam. These home solar companies bet on you not knowing your numbers and not reading the fine prints. That is how they get you. And if you want to make more money, then you got to know your numbers as well. Back when I was making $10 an hour, I would literally write down how much I made and spent every single day onto a spreadsheet so I knew exactly how much money was going in and out of my account. Even though this was super tedious, it forced me to stare at my numbers every single day and face the reality that I was broke. And it worked. So I can't recommend this enough. But if you want a more automated way to do this, there's this new app called Finna.xyz that will do it for you. Finna is kind of like Notion but for your finances. You can connect your bank accounts and credit cards, it will import all your transactions, then you can categorize them and set up rules to automatically categorize them in the future. And most importantly, you can build a custom dashboard that shows all your numbers tailored to your needs. This is one that I bought that models what I used to do manually, and the best part is that there's a free tier. You can connect an account and mess around with it to see if you like it. So pause the video and click the link below to try out our sponsor Fena.xyz now. Selling home solar panels is the perfect pitch. Think about it. Inflation has been out of control, basic things like gas and groceries are becoming really expensive, and with the threat of blackouts in California or energy rationing going on in Europe, not being dependent on the grid seems like a no-brainer. People want to feel safe, they want to save money, and they want to feel in control of their lives. And if they can do that while saving the environment, I mean who wouldn't? So here's what you gotta do if you want to cash in on this golden opportunity. Door-to-door -door solar sales. Now, door-to-door -door sales may sound intimidating and outdated. Are people really gonna spend this much money with a stranger that just randomly knocks on their door? Surprisingly, yes. Especially when you consider all the clever tactics that we can use when we're face-to-face -face with the mark. And the key to door-to-door -door solar sales is that you do not want to look like a typical door-to-door -door salesman. You want to dress like a government employee or someone from the utility company, like many of these sketchy solar companies do. That way, you lower their guard down. You get them to not slam the door in your face. And once the door is open, you tell them that you're here to make a very official assessment of your home so they need to let you into their house. And once you're in their house, you pretend to do a very careful assessment of their home to see if it's fit for solar. Hint hint, the house will always qualify for solar, even if they live in an area without much sunshine. Because remember, we're trying to get a sale here. They produce on rainy days, foggy days, cloudy days, snowy days. I mean, it's great. And during this little song and dance, you want to ask to see their energy bills. This is key. Once you have their energy bills, then you can start working your magic. You want to take whatever they're typically paying for electricity and then structure the loan for the solar panels in a way where it's slightly cheaper than their current electricity bill. So if your market is currently paying $200 a month in electricity, you structured the loan in a way so they only have to pay $150 a month for their shiny new solar panels. But what they don't realize is that just like how a sleazy car salesman fudges the numbers to get your monthly car payment down, sure the monthly payments are lower, but now instead of paying off the car in 6 years, you're maybe stuck paying off the loan for 10 to 15 years, and you're going to end up paying way more interest than before. 
once you have that low monthly payment in hand, that's when you can fake your surprise and say that, wow, you definitely qualify for solar. And look, we set it up in a way where you're going to be paying less than what you're paying right now for your electricity bill. And the great thing is that since you're going to be harvesting so much energy from the sun, your electricity bill is going to go to near zero or even zero. They will manipulate numbers. They will manipulate prices. They will do anything to get a customer to buy. You promise them that they're going to generate nearly double the kilowatt hour the solar panels can actually deliver. The heck, you might even generate so much extra energy that you'll be able to even make money by selling your extra electricity back to the grid. Your property value is going to go up. After all, according to Zillow, solar panels do increase the resale value of your home by as much as 4%, so it must be true. And you'll even get a giant tax credit from Uncle Sam as a lump sum check that you'll get in the mail for going solar. And after throwing all these complicated numbers around, you then wow your customers with big name success stories. Like how Power Home Solar installs solar panels for the Ford Stadium in Detroit, the only football stadium to be powered completely by solar. That is another complete lie, by the way. There are no solar panels in Ford Stadium. So, you know, he was talking about Power Home Solar and Ford Field having these solar panels, which I don't know if they really do, but they sold me on it. And what good sales pitch is complete without some good old scarcity? Once your pitch is done, you gotta pressure the homeowners to sign on the dotted line today without seeing a sample contract. Do not give them a chance to compare offers, and stress that this is a limited time offer and they have to act now. And with an offer as irresistible as that, they will always sign. And boom, you just made an easy $10,000 per home. There's a reason why solar sales is known as one of the best sales jobs out there, where an ambitious salesperson can easily make a couple million dollars a year in commission. And once the customers do sign, it isn't long before they find out just how much of a sham this really is. But by then, it will already have been too late. The first way homeowners get royally screwed are in the markups. Like most solar companies, you're actually reselling panels from another manufacturer. This allows you to jack up the price by two or even three times the MSRP. Next is in those energy savings you promised them. Imagine the shock when customers find out that not only has their energy bill stayed the same, but now they have to pay these loan payments for the panels on top of their existing electricity bill. And this is no small amount of money either. It was like 300 and something dollars our electricity bill and the loan is $139 a month. This is a lot more that we ever have paid for electricity. I'm paying $320 for the system up here. Mm -hmm. And then you add on my electric bill, you're talking close to $1,000 a month. And it's really no surprise why. The starting cost of home solar panels is around eighteen dollars to $35,000. And if you want to have extra electricity at night or during cloudy weather when the panels aren't working, then you're going to need to install a battery, which is another $9,000. And those conveniently small monthly payments the salesman was able to arrange? Well, the interest rate on most solar loans is 8 to 9%, which if you do the math, the average time it takes to pay off that loan is at least 6 to 10 years. And those already marked up $35,000 solar panels? Yeah, with that kind of loan, you're going to end up paying closer to maybe $50,000 when you tack on all the interest. And that's on the low end. There are many cases out there where people get stuck with loans of up to $70,000 or more. Your bill like last year at this time was like 103 or something like that? Yes. And now what is it? 105. She's also strapped with a loan that with interest adds up to more than $70,000 for her power home solar setup. He signed up with Solar Titan USA, spending more than $71,000 because he thought it would reduce his power bill by as much as 90%. And that lump sum check you were promised you would get in the mail? Yeah, that was a lie too. But none of the customers we talked to got this supposed check. Told us there's a $23,000 rebate to spend how we wanted to, but there is no rebate. It is true that the federal government does offer a 26% tax credit, but there's a key phrase there. It's a tax credit, which means you need enough taxable income for it to even make a difference. Which also means if you get a tax refund from the IRS every year, you do not qualify. So we spoke to our CPA, to our uh, person that prepares our taxes for us. And, and we're like, okay, so we're, we're going to be getting this refund, right? And he's like, that's not how it works. And we don't make enough money to owe the IRS. So if you already get a refund, you don't qualify for the credit. They're wrong. My husband is a disabled veteran. We don't have tax liability. They know I was a disabled veteran. Do they ask you whether you no. have any taxable income? No, none whatsoever. So this tax credit pitch really only helps out high income earners. But hey, at least your property's value increased, right? Well, not really. The only way solar panels increase your property value is if you bought the panels upfront in cash instead of taking out a loan. And even then, the increase in property value you do get is not going to be as much as what you pay for them in the first place. Solar panels are great for long-term savings. They're an investment, but 
please take it from a real estate professional. Uh, they do not add value to your home equal to their cost most of the time. And if you lease the solar panels, it actually damages your property value. Does a solar lease increase your home's value? No, it does not. You do not own the solar panels. You are merely purchasing your electricity from the company, leasing them to you. It might even hurt your home's value. But if you thought that wasn't enough, it actually gets a lot worse. Once your victims do sign on the dotted line, then they're gonna have to wait a long time before the panels get installed, or even turn on, and they might already be making loan payments before that even happens. And when the panels are installed, it's often done incorrectly due to just plain old incompetence. Things like panels facing north in a state with low sunshine. Or for no obvious reason, the panels might not end up working at all. Only six of his 18 solar panels work. And there's more than a few horror stories of panels even catching fire. So of course, your victims are going to get angry about this. They're going to demand answers. But unfortunately for them, they're only going to be met with bad customer service with no answers and no help. I am frustrated and I want answers. She's like, it's your fault if you're getting an electric bill. And if they try to break your contract, you've got some fun little surprises waiting for them called power purchase agreements. Which means if your victims try to leave, they'll have to pay massive amounts of money. And there's usually a lot of fine print that makes the company immune from being sued. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is why solar is one of the fastest growing industries out there. These companies are making $11 billion a year. Even smaller solar companies are expected to make $1 to $2 million a year after just a couple years of being in business. With the biggest companies in the space, like Sun Power Corp and First Solar, are each worth $2 to $3 billion each. But perhaps our favorite example of this is Power Home Solar and their CEO, Jason Waller. Power Home Solar made nearly $600 million last year using all these same sketchy tactics that we discussed in this video. That's why Jason over here was able to pay himself a $1 million salary while spending another $700,000 of company money on business expenses. What kind of business expenses? Things like leasing luxury cars on the company's dime or hooking his family members up with their own six-figure incomes and luxury cars. But here's the thing, Power Home Solar is just a small tiny fish in a giant pond of other home solar companies all scoring over average Americans. But now many customers are starting to band together to fight back. A lot of people are filing class action lawsuits in several states, but unfortunately getting any of them to stick is still difficult. There are thousands of companies out there running these schemes, with new ones popping up all the time. They get up and running, swindle a bunch of people, then they get overwhelmed with lawsuits and then file for bankruptcy, only to rename, rebrand, and then pop up again somewhere else. That Power Home Solar, one of the largest and fastest growing energy companies, is rebranding itself as Pink Energy. At this point, state attorney generals across the country are stepping in, telling loan companies to stand down, to stop requiring payments from people who have fallen for this fraud. With all of this in mind, it's important to remember that this is not a knock on solar energy itself. Whatever your opinions on climate change are, fossil fuels will eventually run out. We will need to switch to renewables in some form or another. The key is doing this in a way that doesn't end up screwing people over. So the most important thing you can do is stay informed. There's a ton of information out there about home solar energy, how the process works, what strategies are the most cost effective, how well solar panels work in your region, and the real benefits your state and local governments offer to make going solar more affordable. Check those out if you're interested, stay dangerous, and we'll see you in the next one. Thank you.